Good day to you all. It's nice to be here, wherever we are. This is Desmond Patrick Brian Milligan speaking to you all, uh, and I'm speaking from Sydney in Australia. Uh, but mainly, I want to tell you about the Milligan family, because uh, I think it's an interesting story, and I think uh, you will enjoy uh, hearing about us and, uh, and the way that our lives trembled along from one interesting place to another. Uh, for example, my father was an army man, a British army man, and he was in the artillery, and he was posted to India. Now, he spent a large part of his life in India, he got married in India, and he had his two children, not all in India, uh, for example, my brother was born first in a little Indian outstation called Ahmednagar. Uh, and there's quite a story behind that, which I won't go into at the moment. And I was born when he was transferred into Rangoon in Burma. And I always like to proudly look people in the eye and say, I was born in the shadow of the great golden Shwedagong Pagoda in Rangoon, India. Uh, and I've got photographs to prove it. So that being the case, uh, uh, we'll move on and I will tell you about the family and the, 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 the way their life proceeded. We were an Irish family. Father Milligan was born in Schlego Town, County Schlego. Which is right on the west coast of Ireland beaten by the great Atlantic Ocean and they were mainly simple peasant folk, farmers and fishermen. And uh, of course, in those days, uh, Ireland was sort of looked upon as a, a sort of a colonial subsection of Great Britain. Um, and of course the Irish didn't like that very much and they revolted in the famous uh, revolt uh, in 1916. Uh, and uh, so they were largely very poor people and so many many of the Irish joined the British Army because it meant that there was money coming in to look after the family uh, and they were clothed and fed uh, and in fact during the period of the Napoleonic Wars Wellington when he was fighting in Spain against Napoleon 78 percent of his army the poor old Irishman who joined the British Army for a feed. And he said they were a drunken, bloomin' lot. But they won him his battles, didn't they? So that's the beginning of the story, really. And Father Milligan's father was in the artillery in the British Army because of that, as many of them were in the district. So Father Milligan's father said, well, I'm in the army, so I want all my sons to go into the army. And he had five of them. And poor old dad was thrust into the army at a very early age. And uh, he did all his usual duties and became a very fine horseman. I'll show you the photographs later of him doing his thing. Uh, and from there, of course, he was projected to World War I, where he fought in Mesopotamia and became very ill, was transported back to India where he was living at the time uh, and was married. Uh, and he married a, a, a sergeant's daughter uh, in India. And uh, he uh, did theatricals in India. Uh, he was wanting to go on stage. He didn't want to become, join the army, but of course it was convenient to be in the army. Uh, but he decided that he was going to do his theatricals in any case, and he did all over India. He performed and danced and there was comedy acts. And that is, I think, where my brother, the, f the famous Spike Milligan, got all his funny little bits from and started off. Uh, so that's the beginning of the story.